A nuclear and radiation accident is defined by the International Atomic Energy Agency as an event that has led to significant consequences to people, the environment or the facility. Examples include lethal effects to individuals, large radioactivity released to the environment or reactor core melt. The long-term effects of nuclear disasters can often spread over thousands of years. The Three Mile Island accident was a partial nuclear meltdown that occurred on the 28th of March 1979. The accident to Unit 2 happened when the reactor was operating at 97% power. It involved a relatively minor malfunction in the secondary cooling circuit which caused the temperature in the primary coolant to rise. This in turn caused the reactor to shut down automatically. Shutdown took about one second. At this point a relief valve failed to close, but instrumentation did not reveal the fact and so much of the primary coolant drained away that the residual decay in the heat reactor was not removed. The operators were unable to diagnose or respond properly to the unplanned automatic shutdown of the reactor. Deficient control room instrumentation and inadequate emergency response training proved to be the root causes of the accident. The partial meltdown resulted in the release of radioactive gases and radioactive iodine into the environment. Studies analyzing the rate of cancer in and around the area since the accident determined there was a small non-significant increase in the rate, and no connection linking the accident with these cancers has been sustained. The Windscale Fire of October 10, 1957 was the worst nuclear accident in Great Britain's history. Ranked in severity at level 5 out of a possible 7 on the International Nuclear Event Scale, the fire took place on Unit 1 of the two-pile windscale facility on the coast of the Irish Sea in Cumbria, England. The two piles had quickly been built as part of the British Atomic Bomb Project. The fire burned for three days and there was a release of radioactive contamination that spread across the UK and Europe. Of particular concern at the time was the radioactive isotope iodine-131, which may lead to cancer of the thyroid, and it's been estimated that the incident caused 240 additional cancer cases. No one was evacuated from the surrounding area, but there was a worry that milk might be dangerously contaminated. The Kuisten disaster was a radioactive contamination accident that occurred on the 29th of September 1957 at Mayak, a plutonium production site for nuclear weapons and nuclear fuel repossessing plant in the Soviet Union. It measured a level 6 disaster on the international nuclear event scale, making it the third most serious nuclear accident ever recorded. In 1956, the cooling system in one of the tanks containing 70 to 80 tons of liquid radioactive waste failed and was not repaired. The temperature in it started to rise, resulting in evaporation and a chemical explosion of the dried waste. The explosion on the 29th of September 1957, estimated to have a force of about 70 to 100 tons of TNT, threw the 160 ton concrete lid into the air. In the next 10 to 11 hours, the radioactive cloud moved towards the northeast reaching 350 kilometers from the accident. The fallout of the cloud resulted in a long-term contamination of an area more than 800 to 20,000 square kilometers. The Fukushima nuclear disaster was an energy accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, initiated primarily by the tsunami following the earthquake on the 11th of March 2011. Immediately after the earthquake, the active reactors automatically shut down their sustained reactors, However, the tsunami destroyed the emergency generators cooling the reactors, causing Reactor 4 to overheat from the decay heat from the fuel rods. The insufficient cooling led to three nuclear meltdowns and the release of radioactive material beginning on the 12th of March. Several hydrogen air chemical explosions occurred between the 12th and 15th of March. The Fukushima disaster is the largest nuclear disaster since the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, and the second disaster to be given the Level 7 event classification of the International Nuclear Event Scale. On the 5th of July 2012, the Fukushima Nuclear Accident Independent Investigation Commission found that the causes of the accident had been foreseeable, and the plant operator had failed to meet basic safety requirements such as risk assessment, preparing for containing collateral damage, and developing evacuation plans. The Chernobyl disaster was a catastrophic nuclear accident that occurred on the 26th of April 1986, during a hurried late-night power failure stress test in which safety systems were deliberately turned off. A combination of reactor design flaws, together with the reactor operators arranging the core in a manner contrary to the checklist for the stress test, eventually resulted in uncontrolled reaction conditions that flashed water into steam generating a destructive steam explosion and a subsequent open air graphite fire. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster was the worst power plant accident in history in terms of cost and casualties. 
it's one of only two classified as a level 7 event, the maximum classification on the international nuclear event scale. The accident caused the largest uncontrolled radioactive release into the environment ever recorded for any civilian operation, and large quantities of radioactive substances were released into the air for about 10 days. It took the Soviet government a full day to realise the scale of the accident and its consequences. Only after that was the evacuation of Pripyat and many more villages and small towns in the region ordered. Hundreds of thousands of people were hastily evacuated and later relocated. Radiation is a quick menace that embeds itself deep in the victim's body. While initially killing less than a hundred individuals, the radioactive cloud spread across large territories over time. In fact, the amount of radiation was many times higher than the radiation released after the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, and an echo is still heard in cancer cases in Belarus and Ukraine. During the accident, blast effects caused two deaths within the facility, and later 29 firemen and employees died in the days to months afterwards from acute radiation syndrome with the potential for long-term cancers still being investigated. Ten days after the initial explosion and resulting disaster, another potential disaster in the making was uncovered among the smouldering debris of the Chernobyl nuclear plant. Water that was used to try and fight the flames unsuccessfully had become contaminated, and then pulled beneath the reactor core. The reactor had substances such as clay, sand and boron dropped onto it by helicopters. The resulting mixture was like lava and was slowly burning through the floor. Had it reached the water, the resulting fallout would have turned most of Europe into a nuclear wasteland caused by a mass steam explosion. The only way to drain this water was by opening the gates, and the only way to do this was if someone dived down into the highly radioactive and contaminated water. Whoever did that would almost certainly die. Three men volunteered, Valery Bezbalo and Alexei Ananiko, who were engineers from the plant, and Boris Baranov was another plant worker. With full knowledge of the danger and with basic scuba gear and a dodgy lamp, they dived down to find the valve. Despite Boris's lamp failing while diving down, the trio found the valve to open the gates and swam back up. 20,000 tons of water was drained out, and a report stated that had the dive not taken place to open the gates, a thermal nuclear explosion would have occurred as a result. Valery and Alexei died two weeks later in a Moscow hospital, with Boris succumbing to death not long after. Due to the high radioactivity levels on their bodies, they were buried in lead coffins that were soldered shut. Their brave actions no doubt saved hundreds of thousands of lives throughout Europe, 